Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting down with Andreas Price uh, from Zock, and you've brought us Mail Koopa. It's true. Uh, designed by uh, Klaus Zoch of Chicken Fame and Rudika Kopf, uh, a friend of his who I think so far is fairly unknown. Uh, the illustration done by Franz Vorwinkel. Uh, get the basic information out of the way. We're talking about 14 plus as far as age is concerned, so it's an adult game. Uh, two to four players. And well, it has 19 minutes on the box. You can do it in 60 if you really know what you're doing. If you play it for the first time, you'll probably need 120 minutes. It's a gamer's game. It's not a tough family game. It is a true gamer's game. Um, ah. So what Suggested are we? retail price? Interested in that? Sure, throw it out there. <laughs> in Germany, anyway, <laughs> it's 45 euros. So what are we trying to accomplish? Well, the theme is, uh, is this true life? Sometimes you have to sin to get ahead. Um, you sin to, well, get wealthy in order to, in this case, donate to the church in order to then get letters of indulgence. This is really what it is about, the trade with letters of indulgence, uh, the idea that you can buy yourself free from sin. To get those letters of indulgence, you want to get wealthy. In order to get wealthy, you have to sin a little here and there. Cut some uh, corners. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. You know, of course, the more you sin and the more money you make, the more letters of indulgence you will be able to buy. But then also you have sinned more than other might have. And you need more letters of indulgence, which in turn means you will need more money, which might mean that you need to sin a little more. And this so on sounds and so forth. like a, a pretty bad spiral to get into. Exactly. <laughs> so what you could call the victory point track here is really just the highway to hell. You start out at zero <laughs> and you... All right, I was going to say, we, uh, sadly, mm. hell off in your corner and heaven off in mine. Well, <laughs> <no>, I take <laughs> it. <laughs> um, basically, the only time in this game when you go towards heaven again is at the very end when you cash in, so to speak, your letters of indulgence in, to by yourself free from sin. So those who are closest to the heaven end of things are going to be the winner? Exactly. That's what we're going for. And that's exactly it. You try to, to sin, but just a little less than everybody else. So that's really the point. Usually nobody manages to get all the way to heaven. But <laughs> uh, if you've done better than everybody else, you're already in the clear, basically. Uh, what can we do in order to, to Yeah, I was going to say, or if you were going to put a mechanic, uh, you know, if you were right. going to describe this game right. in terms of a mechanic, what's what? Each round starts out with bidding. You bid in order to get uh, one of the four world cards. Each character, the Pope, the Emperor, the Merchant and the Little Sinner have their little special power. Whenever it is your turn, determined by the world cards, um, you have one action which is free. Uh, an action would be going to the market to either buy or sell, two actions right there, possibilities. Uh, goods, you could go and donate uh, to the church. There are three cathedrals to be built, and whenever the second cathedral is built, the game ends. Uh, whenever a cathedral is finished, uh, you will get a reward letters of indulgences, uh, <laughs> depending on how much you've donated in the meantime. Well, or, uh, fourth option, you can go and visit the brothel, <laughs> which, again, grants you special powers at that particular time. So, somehow I have the feeling that that's not going to somehow possibly push you all along this end. Absolutely. <laughs> and, I mean, that's, a, that's really the theme of the game. And, you could just go and try to be as nice as possible, do as little as possible and just net flanders your way through the game. <laughs> but, but, one action is free, you can do a second action. You can basically do a second turn. If you're willing to spend a little energy on it. Energy in that case being this little apparatus. Uh, let's call it a tally stick in English. Uh, it, keeps track of your sins, your digressions during any given turn. And if it's at three at that point, depends on your bidding really, uh, and you want to take a second action, you just <laughs> ramp it up. Uh, just by not one notch, it's not a lot. And if somebody else goes in there and, and uh, sins even more than you, you're 
perfectly in the key, no problem. <laughs> but if in this case you're the one that has you know, the most notches on his uh, little telly stick, you will at the end of the turn be punished and go to hell by as many spaces uh, as the difference between your being the highest and the, the smallest telly stick is. So, yes, you can sin. Yes, it gets you ahead in the game. But you will have to pay for it eventually. It's, it's not free. Mm. And, well, and if one person could really screw with that by being very virtuous one turn and causing that to be a big Absolutely. swing on that one Absolutely. round. Now, I will say, when you were setting this up a few minutes ago, yes. the, all, the, all of us in the booth were like, wow! Yep. Um, I'm guessing it's the same artist who did the cover art, also did the board as well? Absolutely. Or? Franz Vorwinkel, uh, it's a fairly well-known name, I would Yes, think. yeah. yeah. Um, because for me, what definitely stood out just yes. sitting here is the fact that um, you guys really had some amazing attention to detail that you know these aren't just cards are actually little sculpted frames here um, and I keep eyeing this <laughs> that goes along with your tally stick <laughs> uh, this is the donation box it has two separate little boxes inside of it uh, you make your donations into this donation box of yours and whenever a cathedral is finished you will open up when it's the first one uh, box number one when it's the second one box number two and then in three different categories being money cloth and uh, diamonds or bread and wine whoever has either donated the most or the second most reaps rewards so um, yeah and it's it's your choice you can even there's a lot going on here. I mean, you could, for example, donate in box number two all the time and just ignore number one. Huh. No problem. Then you don't get any of the delicious uh, lettuce and dalgeses when the first cathedral is done, but might be in for even more when the second was done. Hmm. Yeah, and this is actually, I mean, the, the design itself we, we like quite a lot. Uh, this is done in house, uh, Olli Richtberg, our. Yeah. Um, Head of graphics has uh, designed designed the box itself, and I mean the whole game. We, we try to to get as many little details right as possible. Of course, there are still things that could be improved. Can always be, <laughs> but we've been developing this game internally for the last three years. Yeah, and that was starting at a point where uh, Rüdiger Kopf and Klaus Soch, the designers, had already develop a game so it was not from zero up but uh, quite on the contrary we, we took an existing game and tried to get it right and I was gonna say the one other thing I wanted to make sure we, we highlighted was the fact that I mean even the money there the fact that the the pennies feel like a euro penny and that there's right. teeny teeny tiny right. and the, the tens are so much more satisfyingly large I mean that's just Seeing them in a pile here, yeah. really, um, that attention to detail is very evident that this is a and labor also, of love. There's quite mm -hmm. a lot of, just to give Big, some chunky examples, pieces, exactly. yeah. there's a lot of wood going on as well. And the bag over here hides even more. I mean, this, not that impressive in itself, but just the sheer amount of, of different kinds of components is, uh, from a publisher's point of view, definitely is something that's really cool to be able to do it, uh, to, to, to be able to put that much attention into the little details and I hope that the gamers, well, uh, it will enjoy it as well because it does help the game. <laughs> well, we hope you guys want to check this out. This, If you're interested, this is Mail Koopa, which is published by Zach and Andreas. Thank you so much for giving us a quick overview. Thank you for having me. <laughs>